Hey, aloha my internet family. How are you? Welcome back to Practical Printing. Today we've got something fun for you. Uh, we're going to take a look at some new filament that's never been seen before. And I'm going to jump outside my comfort zone a little bit and we're going to try a non-practical print. So you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so a couple of weeks ago, I was approached by a disgruntled employee over at the Amazonian Filament Works company. And she had developed this great new morphine crystal filament that she wanted to get out to the world. And unfortunately, it sounds like the company was trying to sit on or squash the technology. So she thought if she leaked me a roll, um, I could raise some awareness on the channel. So she handed me off this full spool it's very lightweight stuff. It's really got a unique appearance to it. And um, anyway, so she thought if she leaked me the spool and I could get some awareness to it, um, bring it out on the channel, then maybe the company would be forced to bring this out to the public. So I thought I would try this as a um, at least a first look. I'm going to grab a model off Thingiverse here with you. And we're going to give it a print, and we're going to come back and take a look at this filament and see what it does for us. If you guys like it, maybe we'll work up a full review. Now, I'm going to step outside of my comfort zone a little bit, and I think I'm going to choose a model that's not really considered a practical print, but I think it's perfect to showcase what this filament can do. Okay, so I decided to head over to Thingiverse and see what I could come up with to try printing with this, this really unique filament. And thinking back to my childhood and what's in theaters right now, I found this great model of Wonder Woman's Invisible Plane by Shaggy Dude, uh, published back in November of 2016. And so I thought I would give this a try. So downloaded the, the file and brought it over into Cura. And uh, it's a neat looking jet there. Now. We're going to go through and tweak our settings a bit for this to work with this unique filament. We're going to go with a wall count of 4, top bottom thickness of 1.5 millimeters. Um, and we're going to go with a just a 10% infill because you know we want it to be as light as possible. Now for our printing temperature, we're going to set it to zero. all the way through and we're going to set our build plate temperature to zero. Um, it's my understanding that this filament works off telekinetic energy and does not require actually any thermal energy to to extrude. We're going to leave our retraction distance at defaults just because I wasn't given any indication and we're going to make sure that we add support from the bottom and we're going to hit slice prepare get it to slice I'm going to tell it to print with octoprint and it's going to send that over to my printer We'll get that open here. We're going to make sure that our time lapse is turned on. We're going to set it to go on Z changes. Save it as default. We're going to tell it to save. And we are going to hit print on Wonder Woman's invisible jet. So we'll see you back here after the print.
right, let's see if I can get you a close-up of that there. You can see there is no tear-off from the supports. Uh, let's see. There's, um, I mean, it's just beautifully, there's, you can't see any of the layer lines. Um, it, it's just a flawless print. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I mean, it's definitely the perfect filament for the invisible jet. Um, I could think of half a dozen other things at least that would benefit from this morphine crystalline filament. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, and I will try to get word back to uh, Amazonian Filament Works to hopefully push them to trying to finish development on this and get this product on the streets. I think it's got great potential. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Practical Printing. I hope you don't mind we stepped outside of our comfort zone on a non-practical print for a bit, but I think it was well worth it. And if you like what we're doing, be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Practical Printing. Aloha.